Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and this is your Geek Out for today. I wanted to talk to you a bit more about fragmentation. Now usually this is a word that's tossed about in relation to the Android experience. There are so many options out there because, well, Android is just that kind of platform. It could be molded to be anything, really, that the developers want it to be. But of course then you have the carriers to deal with, and it can be a fragmented experience for consumers. One Android device may not be like another. And in much the same way, the PC industry has gone through fragmentation. It survived, well, at least to this point in time, but fragmentation doesn't necessarily have to be painful for you, even though fragmentation is extremely painful for developers because they don't know what to develop for. If you split your time uh, between three different platforms, you're going to have 33% effort across all three. That's not an effective use of your time, and developers may be thinking that with Android, iOS, and now Windows RT, or the mobile version of the Windows operating system as it's set to be unleashed at this point in time upon the world later this week. So that's a lot of attention to give with a questionable return. I know you've got your choice of a platform, a mobile platform, a desktop platform, that's cool. I don't care what you choose to use, you have to choose to use it. But I do have some recommendations on how I have been able to avoid fragmentation in my life while still enjoying iOS devices alongside Android devices. And pretty soon, when my Surface with Windows RT gets here, Windows RT devices. Uh, number one tip, use apps that are cross-platform. And I realize that's like, well, duh, but maybe it's not, well, duh. If you use an app that's only available for one platform, you're locking yourself in. You're making it more difficult for you to try something new. And while there may be some amount of lock-in, at least with the device you choose to use, the software, the apps you choose to run, don't have to lock you in. This is one of the reasons why I love Dropbox. It's another reason why I love Instagram. It's another reason why I love anything that I can access cross-platform, including... Google Chrome. That's my default web browser because with Google Chrome, I can synchronize passwords across every single device that I use. I refuse to use an application that doesn't allow me the freedom of moving between platforms. And I'm not just talking about smartphone OS to smartphone OS to tablet OS to desktop, everything, everything. And you need to be thinking that way too. And that may be a challenge if your favorite apps are only available for one platform. Think beyond that, if only to keep yourself from being locked in. Another thing I uh, have, have begun to recommend, and I've done this for a while, is authenticating with your social accounts. I use Facebook not so much for browsing what my connections have to say, and I gotta tell you, I don't have a lot of friends on Facebook, I have a lot of business connections. Uh, I use Facebook to authenticate inside of applications. That's my login. My primary login is Facebook. And if it's not Facebook, then it's Twitter. So I don't have to remember a billion different passwords. All I need to know is my Facebook password or my Twitter password. And I can access any one of those accounts from anywhere. It keeps me from fragmenting my attention with a billion and one usernames. And a lot of developers are going that route, allowing you to authenticate using one of those two social accounts. It's another reason why I don't believe that even if Facebook lost a lot of attention in the social space, it would disappear anytime soon because so many logins are tied into your Facebook account. The third recommendation I make, and there are some who, who have a lot of pushback on this point, more than the other two, start moving your data to the cloud. I live in Google Docs, not just because I can access it from anywhere, but because it's convenient. It's so easy. I don't need complex features. I just need the basics. And even though I do believe Google well, now it's Google Drive, not just Google Docs. Uh, it gives me more than the basics. I can get to it from darn near any platform with a great degree of ease. That is so freeing so that I can just pick up any device and start using it as long as I have access to the internet. And let's face it, most devices these days have access to the internet in one way, shape, or form. But with my data in the cloud, uh, with just a few accounts to authenticate through, and using apps that are cross-platform inherently, uh, I am having no problem with fragmentation. If you don't want to experience the pain of fragmentation, if you want to help those developers uh, you know, move their cycles along, you 
don't have to be locked in to one platform over the other. Just just know you can... I do, I do it. I do it all the time. It's just what I do. I'm just trying to save you a little bit of pain, and hopefully you appreciate that. 